Okay, so welcome back. So today in this video, we will see that how we can log in our user in the application and we have to assign back the token to the logged in user also. Okay, so because we have to verify the authentication of the user based on that token. So whenever we registered, we have to assign the token. Whenever user log in, we have to sign that token also. Okay, so after register user, simply specify here another method. So login user that will go to the slash api slash v1 slash that is login so x4 start login uh, the user will be equal to the catch async errors and i have specified the async function as a request response next and in that i simply first of all have to pull the email and password from request dot body okay so definitely have to provide the username or uh, email and password to login so we pull out from the request dot body and after that i will simply type here checks if email and password is entered by user so we type here if not email or not password then I simply return next with new error handler and I simply type here please enter email and and password and I send here 400 bad request and if that exists, then I have to find the user in the database with that email. Okay, so simply type here that finding user in database. So simply type here const user equals to await user dot find one with email is the uh, the email itself and then also have to use a dot select method dot we have also select the password now why I have used here the select method because in our user model we have uh, in our model uh, um, here we have specified that select to false so we cannot select the password here so that's why you have to use here dot select method and add here plus and then the whatever you want to access this time this is the password all right so simply type here that if not user then simply return next with new error handler and the message will be invalid email or password and the code will be 401 okay so 401 means that unauthenticated user and after that I simply check that if password is correct or not so simply type here checks if password is correct or not so I simply type here that cons is password matched equals to await user dot compare password I have to pass in here the password itself okay so now we have to define this compare password in the user model so here after this I simply type here compare user password let's let type here user schema dot methods dot uh, compare password that is going to be a sync function we have to type here the entered password that will pass from our login function and now we have to compare it so simply use here turn await and I have to use a bcrypt password bcrypt.compare 
Now, dot compare is the method of the bcrypt that help us to compare two passwords, right? So we have to compare our entered password with this dot password that will be the current password of the user, right? So it will return true or false. Press Ctrl S. So it will has true or false, and we simply can check that here. If not is password match, this means that um, the password is wrong. So simply type here return. In fact, I have to copy the same line from here and paste it here. That invalid email or password and for one unauthorized user. And if and if it is correct, then this means that this is the user, and we have to assign the token. So simply type here const token equals to user dot get jwt token and we have to simply send here res dot status of 200 and dot json success to true and the token so we save it go to the users uh, sorry, auth uh, the post request so simply control cv here that is login login user and simply copy it and import it all right so now if we go back to my postman let's save this route first of all before that I have to create here a new folder with the name um, authentication you can type here users all routes related to authentication and users simply create it and now I simply save it in the register user register user and assign jwt token and save it in the shop it authentication all right so here a new tab here post request domain slash api slash v1 slash login and in the body we have to pass here the email and the password so I simply type here first of all the email that is at gmail.com and then the password that is uh, my name but I type here one to check that if it is work work pro pro properly or not so if I click on send from here you will see here invalid email or password and if i remove this one from here and click on send and we get our token here right so now we have successfully logged in into our application that's saved first of all and getting back our token so login user and assign jwt token saved in navigation that's it all right so now we are done with our registering and logging in the user you can see that it is working properly here and now in my next video i want to basically store this token in the cookie because i want to put my token in the http only cookie and on the base of the cookie we will um, verify our user that it is authenticated user or not i will show you all that stuff later but in my next video i want to send the jwt token uh, this token that we have got from here i want to set in the cookie here in the cookies okay so i will do that stuff in my next video